So I was born on the day of a flood in Lahore, Pakistan. And all of our baby pictures, a lot of the stuff that my family found important at the time was basically swept away. There was like three or four feet of water, you know, there was things floating everywhere. It was really difficult to drive from what I understand. But I've always loved the rain. I've always genuinely enjoyed rain. And an aspect of it, I think, comes from my love of nature. Because rain is this kind of, uh, it hits everything. It doesn't discriminate. And trees need it. I think I think when it's overcast out, that's, that's some of my favorite weather. It brings out the deeper greens and trees. And it kind of gives you a second to just unwind, you know? A second to say to yourself, I can sit here. I don't have to go anywhere. I don't have to do anything. I can appreciate whatever I need to do right here, right now. I remember writing a, um, a creative writing piece in, in high school about the rain. There was a time when I was uh, beginning to come into my, my understanding of my love for psychology and human connection and the deeper things in life. And I remember that the story used rain as a metaphor for a lot of the things imposed on us by society something we can't avoid the things that propel us I think rain will always be that way for me it's a reminder that nature that the uh, the forces imposed on us are everywhere all the time but it's nothing to fear the funny part is cold wet whatever it is it's not here to hurt you that's not the intention the intention of rain is to bring new life. If there is an intention. That's what creates ecosystems in general. So it can be a reminder of the things that we really don't have too much control over in life. But so be it. So be it. Don't have control all the time. It's not necessary. There's much to learn. There's much to learn about a, sa a, a lack of control and to embrace the chaos that comes with nature. So let, let society rain on you. Let it, uh, let it drench you to your bones. Embrace it. It's a beautiful thing. Be a part of nature. It'll make it so all the little things that most people find very significant, it won't bug you so much. You're like, you know what? Let it do that thing. Whatever. I'll be here. I'm going to be happy anyway. And when you have a chance to think in life, when you have a chance to sit down, you have some arrested time, use it. Use it to invest in yourself, the people around you, the relationships that you have. Or just lose yourself in something that you love doing, something that gives you a flow state. They say you love the sun, yet you wear sunglasses. They say that you love the rain, yet you use an umbrella. Why is that? Don't be afraid. There is much growing to do, my friends. I'll be growing with you. Let me know what you think. Share this with someone that enjoys the rain. And perhaps one day, us humans will really begin to understand the beauty of the bigger things that we're exposed to. Take care.